Good morning, I'm Andrea Morgan. And I'm Joe Gum. Here are your top stories for today. A possible threat was made against a Central Texas high school. The threat was made to Centerville High School. According to an alert on the district's website, the district was made aware and law enforcement are now investigating that situation. The district says the high school will have an increased law enforcement presence at schools throughout the day. Following the shooting in West Texas, a GoFundMe has put together a list of campaigns. You'll find links to those campaigns in this story on KXXV.com. GoFundMe says it will be updating the list of active funds created to help the victims and their families. Now it's time for a check on your forecast. Erin. Well, we've got our headlines on this Tuesday. Heat and humidity still topping those headlines. We've got little to no rain forecast over the next 10 days. Highs are going to be topping out in the upper 90s most afternoons, and we've even got a couple of days where we're forecasting high temperatures to actually hit that triple digit mark. And at the same time that we are dealing with the heat and humidity, Hurricane Dorian continuing to wreak havoc over the Bahamas, headed toward the east coast of the United States. So we'll be watching that. And we're also watching for some potential tropical development in the Gulf as well. Connect with us online this morning at KXXV.com and on the News 25 mobile app.